How's it? Sean from Combat Simulations, Spartans at the Pass. This is the scenario we're going to be playing today from Command Ops 2. And we're going to play it from the Allies' uh, point of view, from the Allies' side. Okay, so if you're interested in uh, realistic combat simulations of all eras, from ancients to modern and beyond, plus overviews, reviews, tutorials, tips, and all these types of things for all this, these types of sims, subscribe now. And hit the notification button so you don't miss out on any content. And also watch my video. It helps a lot. Alright, so Spartans at the pass. What's the scenario briefing? Initial orders delay will gravitate from 0 to 100% during the first hour. What's our briefing? Uh, Ge Major General Freyberg from the Anzac Corps HQ. This should be the last major ba battle of this blighted little campaign. Since the decision has already been taken to withdraw, your role is to give the enemy something to remember us by and keep him at a healthy distance, distance while we pull out. There are two main areas of concern, uh, the Th Th Thermopylae Pass and the Bralos Pass. The Thermopylae Pass is where the main danger will come from. It's, it's good tank country and for that reason you go, you're getting almost all our artillery. Use it to keep the Germans at a good distance from your lines. If the enemy goes in too close, you will have a good, uh, good deal of trouble when the time comes to withdraw. The Bralos, I can't pronounce that properly, pass shouldn't be such a problem. It's tougher terrain and we only expect infantry there. However, the Germans' Alpine troops have proven themselves pretty tough customers, so be prepared for a decent clash here. Make sure you arrange matters to get away on time. You don't want to get tangled up here as the enemy uh, is already closing in on our withdrawal route. All right, so what's the scenario briefing? 23rd of May, 1941, 1200 hours, the Th Thermopylae line, Greece. A powerful German thrust aiming to breach the last major Allied defenses in Greece. This is a historical scenario. This actually happened. The Thermopylae, I hope I'm pronouncing that line, uh, beaming across to the Greek uh, and ca Greek capital and any other possible Commonwealth evacuation ports was intended to be the final defense line at which the Germans could be stopped and held. However, with the Lebensstande Adolf Hitler threatening to cut off the army at Ypres, General, I can't pronounce his name, ne never uh, one to tough out a difficult situation. With his fellow corps commanders toppled by, uh, toppled his army commander and then surrendered the army. Okay, for W, w force, this killed off any hope of remaining in Greece, since the Thermopylae line could not be held by less than three divisions, and the forces available now attributed to less than two. A German approach through the Delphi and Amphisa to the southwest of the Thermopylae line has, was now possible, and if the Germans struck fast enough, they could <coughs> get fully astride Western force withdrawal route and trap the whole force. Adding to the difficult situation, the German pursuit of the Anzac Corps um, Corps was finally passed through Larissa and is in position to ta attack the Thermopylae line from the front. Okay, so the Allies must uh, manage to manage a tricky balanced act. If they can stay in position long enough, the German forces at Ypres, spearhead, uh, spearheaded by the Lebensstande, may cut off their withdrawal completely. However, if they fail to defend the passes at Thermopylae and Brelos uh, in enough strength, the Germans will be able to flood arm and infantry to the rear area of the retreating Allied forces and inflict, inflict a savage defeat. The Allies must therefore thin, uh, thin out their line at just the right uh, moment, handing a bloody nose to the Germans while withdrawing their force to fight another day. Okay, the Germans' uh, position is much simpler. They must breach the Allied line and cause as much damage to the retreating troops as possible. In particular, they must push their forces through the front lines to Levert, I can't pronounce that, and Longos, uh, where the Allied rear areas, where the Allied rear areas and withdrawal routes are located. All right, so there's the mi uh, mission briefing. All right, so basically, uh, Thermopylae. Uh, Spartans are the past. Remember in ancient history, the, the 300 Spartans that defended the past. This is a similar thing. The only thing is that with this scenario, we've got we've got an exit, so we are going to withdraw here. Uh, there are all the um, 
objective points, but they're all occupation. And they're all little piddly points. That's what I hate about these withdrawal scenarios. They've got all these little checkpoints you've got to go through. <coughs> and there's a thousand of them. Let, let me be honest with you. There's 50,000 of these little points and they're all over the place. And then we have one. Look at that. Look at all these little points that are coming up. I mean, there's just so many. It's just too numerous to actually mention. But they're all occupation. And they're little two points. Then the withdrawal, the one withdrawal on the one side over there is 17. And this withdrawal over here is only eight. And it's ma it's just infantry. 1,000 infantry and 1,500 infantry. And it's uh, and it begins on day three. It's day four. So we're looking at four days at nine o'clock in the evening. Nine o'clock in the evening. And then we've got one little five point here to hold as well. It's just occupation to withdraw that. So we've got to... So this is... This is one of those like trying to get it off the field, trying to time that getting off the field. It's, it's a tough scenario. Especially for the withdrawal force. It's pretty simple for the Germans. They just need a push. Uh, I think they, I, I haven't played the German side, but I obviously think they also have an exit. They probably also have an exit, but it's just a push to the line. There's no, th well, I don't know. I'm going to still play them. I don't know if there's that this many objectives but there's a thousand objectives you have to do and they're all little piddly two pointers so basically we don't um just to give you an idea there's no reinforcements and we have uh just to give you an idea we have an infantry division that's holding these two passes this pass over here and this pass over here and uh let me just give you an idea, just just so that you understand this. There's three regiments, one, two, and three. That regiment's sitting on that side. This regiment's on this side. There's two regiments on the pass over here, here by the mountainous country, and there's one regiment here, which is the tank country. So what have I done? I've basically kept his allotments, but I've just made them so they defend strong. You know, so they, they if they get attacked here, they fight, and then they get blown off the point, they go back. That's what I've made most of them. So they're just sitting like this. Some of these bases, I've actually moved to places like that because I know for a fact that there's um, these these occupation uh, objectives are going to come up. So I've moved a few, play, few, few of these guys to op occupation places. Uh, this guy I've moved, this is an occupation that's coming up, and I've kept him on an occupation point, and I've kept him over there. So... I've just kept them where they are. Some of these guys I've moved back to behind this, you know, this li these lines over here. This is Marsh. So this is very difficult for him. So I've kept some of these guys back on this side. And that's all I've done here. I've just moved them closer to these entrance points. And that's it. That's it. Then we're just going to wait for the withdrawal and see if we can get most of these guys off the field. Well, whatever's required. And they're obviously coming down here. So, without further ado, let's fight. Let's see. Let's see how we do. Yeah, it's a it's a tough one for the allies because you, with object with exit objectives, I'm not fond of them. I'll be honest with you. I'm not really fond of any sort of exit objectives. It is skillful. There's a skill to it, and it's timing involved. And it's usually with you with not enough forces to do it all in. So it's a tough one, uh, exit objectives. And the thing with exit objectives is you usually get 50,000 exit objectives to like little checkpoints along the way that you've got to follow to, to try and get. So I'm going to try and get most of them. I definitely am. I'm going to try and get mo keep most of these little points. But obviously over time, I'm just going to give up the points, the objectives. It's as simple as that. So let's just see how we do. Let's just have a look. So he's obviously coming down this way. He's, he's pushing down here. Uh, I don't see much going on here, but this is obvious the route to go. I'll probably come down here as well when I play the Germans. Let's hope we can hold out. There's our first fight. First bit of fighting. It's only four days, so we don't have, it's not a lot of time.
Yeah, this isn't tank country. He's talking about this being more tank country. This is more mountainous, hilly stuff. So we expect infantry down there. Yeah, so he's obviously not... It doesn't look like he's coming down here. So I'm just thinking, this guy... This guy's... Oh, he's one of the main... For, for the main HQ over there, right. So I'm thinking of putting him... Maybe here as well. Maybe there. Uh, for now, because I don't see any reports of anybody coming this way. So I'm just going to sort of preempt this, put it over there so I can make a bit of a barrier with these guys. The German army at this period of the war is invincible, man. They went to Greece in like three three weeks. They conquered Greece. Now there he's on the mountains as well. It's fine. Let him come through the mountains. It'll slow him down quite a bit. And there's not many paths through this area, this this rough area. And I've kept all the troops on. I haven't put them on max defend and whatever. Kept them on normal. Oh, I should have put him on attacks. Why I didn't put him on attacks? I hope this guy's also on attacks. Just want to just check. No attacks. I don't know why I didn't put him on attacks along the way. Uh, yeah, okay. I forgot to put these guys on attacks on the, along the way. <coughs> you know what I might do? Is I might advance him up the road there. see if I can stop him there because he'll come he's gonna come down this way so I think I'm gonna advance him up the road is he I'm gonna keep him I'm gonna put him on max jeez I don't know I didn't do this sort of thing I'm gonna keep him on max so that we can we can get he can fight hard there. and this guy I'm gonna send up the road up this this because this is actually important an eye on what's going on over here. I need to get you up the road, bro. <clears throat> I should have moved you up. Yeah, that's better. So you got to help up the top there because he's going to come down that. He's going to come down this path. I should have done that. I kept this guy, yeah, this this battalion, yeah, to to go because there's a there's an objective coming here. So I thought I'd just keep him there, sort of like a reserve. Let him fight here yeah, hard. Yeah, let him fight hard. Yeah, it looks like he's coming down this, but this is tough country for him. seem to be holding here quite a bit, so I'm going to keep you sort of there, that you fight your way back into that lot over there. Yeah, situation win-lose is not great. Yeah, let's just fight this area, keep it bottled up over there. As long as we hold the odds of these valid points over here. Oh my shit, just as I, just as I, let's get you there. Let's get let's get you there. Cause that looks like we're gonna have some situations here. Hey, hang on. Let's get you on that deal. Let's get you there in the marshy field. 
and let's get you on that hill and get you there. Okay, good. Just to stop him over those passageways. As long as we got some artillery going. Just make sure you are... I'll keep you at normal fighting power. Mm. Okay, so I'm gonna hold. Yeah, just stop him. Time up. Yeah, this was a little place I didn't. Yeah, I didn't guard those passes over there. Okay, so now we've... Because I put these bases over, that's why. <coughs> I'm just thinking about... Um, moving him back there. Alright. And... Yeah, I'm just thinking... I'm just thinking of moving... Wait. I'm just trying to think, you know. I'm thinking of moving him back there. And I'm thinking of maybe moving him back there. Let's just see if we can get a hold on to those positions. So we just accumulate points before we get out. Let's just accumulate on there. Let's just put everybody we know on here. So you can stop that. Keep these two guard parts guarded over there. guys accumulate on there okay I'm gonna pause this until tomorrow morning it's probably not much gonna happen right now okay I'm back yeah nice and early in the morning six o'clock I've moved these guys down there just to sit on those objectives see if we can we really just waiting I think he's moving that lot over there so I'm gonna move this back and I'm also going to move him in there as well. So let's just try and hold him up here. It looks like he's decided to move this force down that way. So let's just see if that'll... It doesn't look like anything's coming here. So I'm going to reattach this guy. Right, I'm going to reattach this guy. Right, I'm also going to reattach this guy, and I'm going to take his entire force. And I'm wondering where I must put him. I'm going to take his entire force and bring it down here, getting ready to leave the field. I'm going to put him on max max so that he... Well, no, I'm just going to keep him normal. He's going to take the quickest. Because there's no objective points over here. And there is one over here. So I'm just going to bring him right down there. And get him ready to leave the field. This is where the fight is. I don't want to get too embroiled over there. So I want him down here. I just want to see what his path in terms of the quickest is. Is he going to go this way around? What the shit's he gonna do?
Okay, so he's gonna go this way. Okay, brilliant. I like that. Let him bring those troops down here, just to get ready for the exit. Jeez. Oh, crikey Moses, man. Shortest. Okay, just go across the shortest way. Don't worry about going down that way. Just hoping he can... Yeah, let him just go down there. Yeah, there's nothing coming down here. So I'm going to bring him down that side. This guy over here, he needs to get down there. Like I said earlier. That's better. Let them just... There's still a host creeping around here, so... I'll move him to there. No, I'm going to leave him there. Let them fight these guys over there. And then I'll exit these people. Peace. We're waiting really for, <coughs> for day three. Only at 2100 hours. So that's our real problem. I've weakened this, so I don't know if this is going to... By me weakening me, these bosses is going to make any difference here. I actually want you to go in there. And attack along the way. Do it the quickest. And just do it for me. And you are going to stay. There's no objectives over here. You're going to stay... In fact, I'm going to move you just a bit closer, uh, quickest, so that we can sort of slow him down a little bit more over there. Yeah, so it um, looks like I'm holding off yeah, pretty well there. Yeah. Oh, the ferry is now constructed. Orders allowed. Re so he's he's created some ferry somewhere. I don't know where that shit. Where the ferries he's creating? Well, I'm slowing him up here. It's tough for him to go through all this. I'm sure. Jeez, all of a sudden we're winning. I think he's got an exit objective. I personally think he's got an exit objective. I think we got a. A situation with him trying to come over the ferry there so i'm going to move him this guy to there as well just to see if we can hold out on that ferry and also the quickest and i'm going to move that three guy down there just to stop he's already coming in over here and these guys are slowing him up there. let's see if we can slow him up a bit No, it looks like he's moving his force to come down here. Well, some of it. Yeah, make no mistake, tough for the Germans. Not easy, because, I mean, they've got all this crappy country to go through, and they've got to get mainly infantry over here, but even here is tough. She wanted down there. Yeah. I'm just 
you can hold all of this. You seem to be holding all right, and considering the fact that we're holding on to all these objectives, and we've sort of bottled him up here, uh, and we're going to try and stop him over this ferry over here. And then, yeah, the only thing issue is obviously this yeah. Just gotta keep fighting for that. Alright, I'm gonna pause this until there's further developments. Okay, so I've decided to withdraw these guys now to other places. Like this guy to there. Why did I withdraw him? I just see something. Why is he not withdrawn? I actually asked him to withdraw. Jeez, man. Down to about there. Just do it, and quickest. So I'm moving the guys backwards down this sort of gully here. Uh, so is everybody moving, yeah. And then him move as well, further down. Take these guys with him so he can go. Okay, I didn't go through them. So all these guys are just moving back. They're moving back a section. Keeping those guys over there for now. Sort of holding this line over here. My shit. Alright, oh, <coughs> In fact, you know what? You're going that way, and you're going that way. Well, let's just move you to there. Okay, so that you don't... I'm thinking of this long trip here that he's going to take. I want him to get, go... That these guys were... I'm leaving, I've left this this section over here just to, to help out stop that so it's gonna be a long day this one Yeah, I must move with his artillery. I don't know if this is the right way to do this, but I'm doing it. Move to there. Just little stopping, little stepping stones as we go along. So we just keep him here. He's already in the back here. There's nothing you can do about it. This is this is how the thing works. You can't stop the little floodgates. I'm also going to move him down. Let's move him down to there. I'm going to keep him there. Yeah, I'm moving this guy. I'm moving this guy down. I'm not. I'm not going to like hold on to this point. Two little points there. Uh, anything over here? No, it looks okay. For now. Just wanted to see where all these guys land up. Move these guys down. Let's 
see exit obje exit objectives exit scenarios are a lot of it requires timing you know when to know and usually the what the objectives is they, they give you the time so if you see this objective fall away then you know it's time to now move back one so that's what I'm trying to do now falling back to these objectives Okay, yeah, it's time. It's actually time to reattach this guy. Reattach this guy. Reattach this guy. And it's time to now, I think, move back to there. Just make sure he goes the quickest. And attacks. And these guys as well. It's time to start. Chile <laughs> saying goodbye to this area yeah because we're not gonna and I need to move you back to about there you can attack along the way just take the quickest to make sure you start moving and then mr uh, mr commander it's time well it is no I'll wait cancel I'll wait until these guys are moved started moving yeah you're moving back you're moving there you're moving there okay good so let's just withdraw you nice and slowly Let's move you some more back. In fact, no, hang on. I've got a damn base over there. Let's just leave you there for now. Because I've got a base over there. I'm going to move this base. Oh, sorry. Cancel. I'm going to move this base to there. Just, I might lose this regiment there. That's the only thing. I'm gonna reattach you. Are you still trying to move there? Okay, good. Okay, it's time to move the big HQ back to about there and just move the quickest just follow that path or the road or whatever yeah Yeah, until uh, 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 2100 hours tonight, then these objectives, these uh, exit objectives become valid. So I'm trying to just get most of the guys down this road, down this area here. Nighttime movement should be better. So 
Just trying to get you guys off the field. It's one, it's one of these days. Coming down, yeah. I'm thinking of moving that guy down there just to slow him up a bit. Yeah, tough fight, man. Where's that objective that I need, this big one? The 17 one. It's over there, so I just need to, just need to get him to there. Uh, he's trying to get out, I tell you. I had 2100 hours tonight. So, yeah. Problem is, yeah. Trying to get this, this lot out. And then this guy to try and hold over there. gonna get in there. We're sitting on a wind sort of well it says highly but you never know with these scenarios. You don't you know how eventually it calculates because basically he's just he hasn't been able I'm sure he's got a I'm sure he's got an excellent objective the Germans have got one and he just hasn't gotten anybody off the field the minute he starts getting guys off the field and it's probably the same as ours in the same area once he gets these guys they start going off you'll see this wind go right down to a loss Side there. Just stop him on the road, yeah, a little bit. Slow him down over there. By 1800, we should be getting our objectives now, the exit objective, which means that it's nighttime movement. We might be able to get slip through his lines. Guys, it's going to be a delaying force, really. That's all. The dam was about to break anyway.
I just hope we can get enough forces off the field. That's my real worry. So if we can get enough forces off the field, that's my real concern here. <coughs> So he's going down here, so he's obviously going to... Let's put a guy over there. Let him attack and then go quickest. Just to, like a backyard step, uh, cover there. So I'm really, it's a six, so it should be okay. Come on, half past nine. That's when we got the objective to get our guys off the field. Half past nine. Yeah, no, sorry, nine o'clock tonight. And then I'm just exit. I'm not worried. I'm not going to worry about these two pointers. I'm just going to. Maybe leave one O's on those two pointers and I'm going to exit everything I can. And just hopefully, these guys are, are if they, if they do, I'm going to give them a no sleep as well. This is helping us here. And this is sort of helping us here. Okay, the objectives are, yeah, I'm going to pause the video and and plan all my moves to get these guys off the field. Okay, so what I've done is I've exiting most of this. These guys I didn't exit. I've put them on no sleepy so that they can get out of here. Um, but I've taken them off and I've asked the main oak to also exit. And I'm asking him, I'm going to ask him to just defend over here. Because otherwise he's going to have to, he's going to sit and wait for that guy. And I'm also keeping him there. So let these guys go. Let's just hope they get out. Go guys, go, go, go. Please get off the field. I'm just exiting Oaks. I've left a few guys here. You understand? But my main just to just to keep this In fact, you know what? I might even do that with these guys. No, I'm bring I'll bring them back. I hope this guy goes out. Like I've told him. Or is he gonna wait for everybody? You know what? Is there a straggler thing here? No, no stragglers. No stragglers. Yeah, take the no stragglers out. If he's leaving stragglers behind, that's too bad. Let those guys exit out of there. I'm also going to ask these guys also to exit out of here. Uh, no stragglers, bypass, and no sleep. Get them going. And the same thing with this guy. Bypass, no stragglers, and no sleep. Let them go.
Now I hope that these guys exit out of here. I really do. He's not going to wait for every single soul and Harry to come out. I'll, I'll be pistol for that. You know what, you can actually move down to there. Come on guys, exit out of the map. Let's send him also out. This one base. Let's send him out. Bypass. No, well, he doesn't need the straggler bit and no sleep. Go. Let's just look at what our objectives say. Oh, we've got a lot to still go. Why are you waiting? I said no. Hey, it's irritating me. You know he's got to, he waits for his guys. I told him, no stragglers. So get off the field, fool. Okay, I'm going to just reattach these guys, because otherwise it's going to be an abortion now. And I did say no, no sleep, right? I hope I said no sleep. None. So... So this side is pretty much done. It's just this side that's not done. Shit, how much how much infantry do we need here? Let me just look at these objectives. Oh shit, this is a pain in the ass. Okay. You're gonna have to switch. You're gonna have to switch this objective over there. To help out over here because this this guy's not gonna this guy's not gonna this guy's not gonna get off the field uh the problem here is this this problem yeah this objective for eight points great to have it don't get me wrong fantastic but we almost finished it and there's nothing else we've done all the bombards so we yeah, are so we've got to We've got to exit these guys somewhere else. Irritating, man. Okay, reattach. Let's Let's just go this way. See if we can uh, bypass no stragglers and no sleep. Go. And you, you can also exit. Because this exit objective for us now is useless. We've got our eight points there. We've got to get out over here. Bypass. And no sleep. Yeah, this is no good for us. How are we looking over here? 17, that's almost done as well. Shit, we only got till 12 today. We'll manage to get a lot of the guys off. But... Almost got that whole bunch off. And we've got all yeah, we've done the 17 and we've done the uh we still got a bit bit to do on that side. Let him go that side. 
I'm wondering, you know what, if that's such a that's such a good move. I'm thinking Let's just leave that side there. It's going to be taking too long to get there. Uh, let's attack along the way. Let's lose the quickest. And let's just go and sit on that objective over there. And sit on this objective over here. Uh, yeah, this is not going to... Let's just move down to this objective here. And we'll take the quickest. <laughs> and the same thing with us. Let's just move on to the subjective over there while we we can still hold it. And the quickest. I'm thinking as well. Just basically move to the incident there. Don't uh, fight or anything like that. Just move there. <clears throat> yeah. See if we can grab that objective at the end there. And you as well. Just just move here. And you stay there. And you just keep going because we uh, we haven't finished that objective. The seventeen. We still owed a bit of infantry there. We've got till 12 today and this this these exit objectives we're not gonna so the best bet here the reason we're not gonna get out of there is because um, I'm gonna fight with your division is because he's got too many forces here now so we we can we we're not gonna get we could get out here though how much do we still owe Oof. We've got all the bombards out. Yeah, I think I'm going to move that this division HQ. I want to bring them all to here. Let him fight over this objective over here and let him come to that objective over there. And the same with this guy. Let him come down here. And this guy, I think, is just protecting me. Well, it looks like a draw, but you don't know. one's no longer valid so we need to bring it all to here all to there we need to fight for that just like this guy that's no longer valid so we need to bring it all here yeah we only got to 12 today so the game's it's almost over Top five, top five. What are we looking at? I just want to see what, uh, destroy the enemy. We didn't do much. Uh, I mean, we shot the shit out of him. I don't understand why we didn't get more value from that. Usually we get a ton of value from the destroying the, the, the enemy. Usually we get a ton. I think one of the reasons why, and I'll tell you why. I think one of the reasons is, is because we did, I didn't put, I put most of the guys on normal fighting. You know, when you, give you an idea you know this thing when you select it uh, I usually put them like that right max max aggro max rate of fire and all of this but I kept them all on normal and I think that that that's something to watch out for 
that uh, look if you put them on then there's you know your chance you run out of uh, you run out of uh, ammo and all this type of stuff but at least you get this ratio up a bit see this ratio is very low and I think it's because my my aggression was low I didn't play this with high enough aggression because that's a chunk of change eh? that's 17 points for killing the enemy so nothing's available there uh, well if there's no points available anywhere if that's fallen away then we might as well just exit this we ah yes this is silly eh it's silly because <laughs> uh i might as well just leave that it's it's already 20 to quarter two quarter to 12 so the game's gonna end now yeah we must have lost this because the look at that but you never know until the end it's a draw i thought well yeah we're sitting on this is deceptive you can't always go by this it's on a loss thing here but usually when it's about here in the middle and it's sort of on that side and says light loss it's not shine up uh, very bright over here it's usually a draw the battle ended in a stalemate i cannot conceal my disappointment at the outcome of the battle i will continue to resist attempts by my colleagues to interfere with my command but i fear that the pm may demand action if results on uh, do not improve so general uh, sir Arch archibald archibald wavel middle east command so we lost quite a bit more than him that's not usually what happens i wonder what happened he lost a lot of armored fighting vehicles because he had a lot and he lost more guns than us but we lost more infantry definitely there it is we lost yeah it was twice as much so we ended up with 55 and he ended up with 51 well we ended up with 51 he ended up with 55 uh yeah there was no stop in this uh you've got to you've got to remember that withdrawal scenarios is a timing thing it's a timing thing to get the timing right it's it's more of a an art than a real science because you've got to get a feel for when you're gonna when can you give up objectives it's not like attack or defend all right you just you just barge through and you fight to the end um that sort of and you defend or you just defend a piece of land and you make sure you withdrawals are very tricky it's not my favorite scenario because of this because you get thousands of little checkpoints along the way and you never know how much how much forces to leave on each checkpoint and when to leave them there how long to leave them there and when to withdraw them when to give them up and the scenario does a good job because what it does it does put those those objectives there and then they disappear they, they're two certain times and it kind of gives you like a guideline now you know when these objectives start falling away it's time to move it's time to get out of there and it's it does this as best it can and it does a good job of it it's just that it's a it's a tricky it's a tricky thing to win especially if you've got a smaller force against a much larger force because you've got to time your withdrawals and you've still got to decide which forces can you leave to delay him you know it's not all about just withdrawing you've also got to leave delay points you've got to you've got to decide what am i going to leave to delay to hold him while these forces go you can't just withdraw everything you've got to leave these backward forces here so it's tricky it's it's more of a an art than a science because you get a feel for this how much can, do i have left can i withdraw now you know and the real tricky thing about it is that he usually and i'm sure he's also got an exit objective well i don't know i haven't played as axis on this i'm going to play in the next scenario as axis but he usually will also have an exit objective so one of the tricky parts is also to deny him but you don't know where it is so because i mean i don't play these 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 videos or these games scripted i don't sit and edit the video afterwards or play it a hundred times until i win and then i play it i play it as i see it i've never played this i'm just playing with the skills i have and the knowledge i've got at the time so there's none of that so you i'm assuming he has an exit I'm assuming he has an exit objective as well but it might not be the case until i see but if he's got an exit objective it's usually really where you are around about where you are so 
you've also got to consider not only getting your troops off and holding the points, holding the objectives with, with what you've got to decide. What are you going to give up to the snow? What, what units are you going to sit and try and delay him? You've also got to think about when you withdraw, denying him his exit. Because he gets points from exiting as well. So you've got to try and deny him the chance to get out as well. So exit scenarios are tricky. They're not the easiest to play. They, uh, it's one of the reasons why I'm, it's not a favorite of mine because it's such a tricky objective. You're, not, you're fighting a delaying battle at the same time you're trying to get the guys off the field. And at that same time you're trying to deny him getting off the field. And as I said, it's an art. You've got to, and sometimes you've got to give up objectives to, and you've got to think, and the thing is, the fog of war, you don't know where he is and what's he, what's he doing. So it's a, it's a, it's a tough uh, scenario to always play. I never usually win these outright, especially as the allies in, 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 in the foothills of the gods, because the allies are under the tosh. They're the ones that are really battling you and the Germans are coming for them. I can... I usually, and, and this, if I go back on my history of the, of the scenarios, I usually win as the axis in this type of objective. Usually. Usually. And sometimes I do get a draw. But I seldom ever win. If you look at all the exit scenarios I've played, I usually, a couple of times, especially the forces of very little, uh, I will lose by decisive loss. Because I'm, g getting the timing right for these withdrawals is tough. It's tough. You've got to, you've got to think about it. And you don't know. So it's a very fog of war -ish, I tell you. I love this scenario. I love all the games I play for Combat uh, Command Ops 2. I love the game. And I love this scenario too. I love it. Uh, but as I said, of all my of all the scenarios, the goals in the scenario, this is my least favorite, the exit objectives. Because you're basically trying to delay, trying to get your forces off the field, and trying to figure out and the, and, the, and the thing with uh, exit objectives, there's always like 50,000 objectives. As you notice, there's always, I'm exaggerating, but there's always hundreds of little choke points. And they're worth each, some of them are worth the same points, some of them are worth the variable. So you don't really know how long can you hold here and how long. So what I usually do with objectives, I look at when they end, when they end, usually. And once they end, that's a signal for me from the scenario to start moving those forces back. But the thing is, he, he gets behind your lines. And he gets all in between this. So it's a it's one of the toughest types of the, uh, scenarios to play. Easier to play as the attacking force, but tougher. Really tough as the, as the defending force. Especially if you've got no, no units. It's all very well if you've got the reinforcements coming to sort of help you. And you can use them to delay. But if you've got no units and you've got to get so much off the field. Very tough. <clears throat> we got all our exit objectives there, and we got 90%, well, most of our exit objectives. So we did well on that. So those we claimed. Another thing i got to watch out for, and I'm learning as I go along, you see, not all these twos i got. I know I've got some of them, but some of them I just left because I thought, I'm not going to sit in the hills and defend them, destroy the enemy. Usually I get quite a quite a high point here, and I don't know why... I didn't get such a... And I realized that all my guys weren't on max. I had them on normal rate of fire and whatever. And I think that affected it. I think that's why I didn't get... Because that's a chunk of change. I mean, that's 17 points. That could have put me onto a minor victory. So you learn as you go along. I mean, this game, you're learning all the time. You can play this game for the rest of your life and still not know everything. It's that intricate. It's that intricate. We just play it and I just play it basically on a surface level, trying to figure out as a commander what 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 i need to do so it's an intricate game it's it's the i'd say one of the best war games for world war ii ever made ever made ever ever made it's so damn good go buy it it's worth every penny you get those three scenarios free i think in it as well in the beginning and you can play that those scenarios are intricate and complicated go watch my videos on that those are tough so yeah it's a such a good game um, I love it to bits. I'll keep playing it till I die. And every time I play it, I just have a blast with it. But um, it's tough. There's certain certain scenarios that are tougher than others. And some of them are 
easier to play. I like the uh, uh, defend and assault. I love those types of objects where you're defending and you're assaulting, you're getting reinforced. You know, more of a because this is a historical story. I like the 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 ballot, the more of the ebb and flow. Uh, you know, coming, and going, getting objectives. You know, we all tend to love those. Anyway, I think I've said enough. Uh, Sean, I love this game. Go buy it. It's such a awesome. I had such a blast today playing it. It's one of the best games ever made. Uh, go buy it. Yeah. Uh, Sean from Combat Simulations, please subscribe to my channel. It's free. And also leave uh, comments and suggestions. And watch my videos. And like them and share them. Helps me a lot. And helps me to bring this content. I mean, if you're interested in, in uh, 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 combat simulations, uh, realistic simulations of ground combat from all areas, <clears throat> from uh, the ancients right through to modern and beyond and tutorials and reviews this is a channel to be on and this helps me produce that content all right until our next i'm going to fight this as the axis in the next uh, video can't wait so until our next uh, fight spartans at the pass as the axis good day on you